All right, guys. So this is the first ever painting of, and you thought there is never a girl online. That one new anime by Funimation and by Studio, I think, No Point Nine. All right, so let's get this started, baby. All right, so first of all, she is freaking hard to draw. Like, I I didn't notice that Akko was, I think that's her name, Akko, was this hard to draw because uh, her hair is just crazy. So I'm gonna have to draw her first and then paint her. Uh, drawing her in pencil is, you know, drawing in pencil for me is way easier than it is for pen. Uh, the pen challenges are really hard, but uh, pencil I feel more comfortable with. Now I didn't notice she was really hard to like, you know, pull off until like her, I start drawing her hair. So I am more worried about her hair than anything else. So I start off with the hair this time, like. Because I want to get the hair over with it. Like, she has really crazy hair, man. Like, I don't even know how they draw that. It's a pain in the butt. I, I can tell you this much. It's a pain in my butt. And hers. Because she probably wakes up every morning having to brush that hair. And let me tell you, that must suck for her. Now, this anime is ridiculous. Uh, I was watching it and I was like, oh, okay. Oh, this is never going to happen in real life. And part of me knows this isn't like the greatest show out there, but I can't help myself from liking this show. It is like, I don't know, it just pulls on my my heart. Uh, you know, maybe my weeb instincts are kicking in. I don't know, but like something, something about this show really, uh, I really enjoyed it. Now, um, the art style is really nice in this show. Uh, you know, from an unknown studio, it's actually pretty damn good. Um, you know, the drawings when they're in the video games are better than the real world, when they're in the real world anyways. Uh, so I thought that was kind of neat. It's really colorful, really nice looking. I thought it was, you know, I had this in the manga form in my backlog for a long time. And I never thought it would get an anime and when I saw this I was like, oh cool. Alright, so right now I'm kind of like struggling with her hair. Uh, as you can see I'm getting really frustrated. <laughs> because her hair is really annoying and at some point I just st start making up my own hair for her because I'm like you know what it's not gonna come out exactly exactly the same so I'm just gonna make up you know the hair for her like you know something similar to her hair um, you know I'm I think I think this took really this took longer than usual obviously because it's a painting but um, just her hair man it, it like it, it was really intense. Uh, I'm not used to drawing characters with like such crazy hair, and I know she probably looks easy to draw, but trust me, she is freaking annoying to draw. Like, I'm just like, why am I doing this? Um, so another quick notice is that she has really nice eyes. Uh, I really do spend a little bit of time, you know, on her eyes because I want her to come out like pretty good. Uh, like I said before, it's not going to come out like the exact picture, but it's something that I want to, you know, accomplish. And so, really quick with this anime also, uh, I really like the part where, like, uh, he, he, the main character goes like, Oh, would you like to go out with me? And it turned out to be an, a guy. And that was really hilarious because uh, I heard that in VR MMO players, there's actually people, you know, that are guys. Uh being girl characters and that really made me laugh so you know this is pretty funny uh story-wise i don't know where this is going i think uh i think it'll be fun though I i'm not sure what to think of this show yet but uh i think it'll be a fun show I i'll just watch it mainly for like the wackiness and like i know it's gonna be another harem anime and you know but that happens so right now i'm focusing on her eyes i'm trying to like uh, you know just draw her eyes because uh, she has a big ass eyes so I kind of have to like you know wing it with her eyes um, I think with the drawing with the especially with the painting I don't really care about like making it perfect just as long as I finish it because I think it was like like what like midnight when I was drawing this like really late and I had to work the next day in the morning like at 8 a.m. So I had to get, like, you know, I was rushing through this, um, and so her eyes are, like, pretty bold. Pretty, pretty good, actually. I, I don't know. I like her eyes. They're really cute. Uh, also, really quick, another really quick. We just reached, uh, 
300 subs and like I promised I am gonna do a giveaway uh, now I'm gonna have three animes and you guys are gonna choose and I'm just gonna choose randomly uh, who wins I'm just gonna put a blindfold and click on a random comment or something um, you know I'll have the a video up and you guys choose what anime you guys want uh, you know we'll do something like that <laughs> oh man all right so we're almost done with the actual drawing uh, funny fact too is that uh, when we were drawing this the battery died on the camera so we kind of had to like redo this uh, not redo this just kind of like start where we left off from but it kind of when you're drawing and the camera dies and you're like oh crap I have to wait you kind of get thrown off the vibe you know like you kind of it's like you know you were into it and now you're like I have to get back into it all right so we're almost done with her cute little annoying ass hair yeah so she is part of the I think it's called Denki Bunko uh, lineup which means she is uh, playable in the PS4 version, I think, of Denki Bugo Climax. I'm not sure how you say that name. Uh, so that's cool. I'm wondering if that one's coming to the US since the first Denki Bunko came to the US. Uh, it's actually pretty fun. Um, it's, a it's not the deepest fighting game, but it is pretty good. It has pretty good mechanics. Uh, I like the Sonic stage. Huh. I wonder if you guys could hear that. My neighbor's going upstairs. Anyways, so right now I'm, you know, uh, marking her hair because uh, since I'm about to get ready to paint, uh, I have to make sure her hair is her hair is priority here. Like, like she has sexy hair, so I have to make it priority. Um, because if I do the face first, I don't know. I just feel more comfortable doing the hair. But if I do the face first, uh, some of the lines are getting really thin because. Um, I was drawing this, you know, not too bold, so I could erase it later. Uh, so I didn't want to lose track of her hair. And then, like, sometimes the sketches get, like, mixed with the face sketches, so I was kind of struggling, and I'm just like, ah, crap. Should have marked it better. Well, whatever. Uh, I just noticed, too, that I don't really use that much guidelines in this drawing. wonder why. Maybe I'm getting better. Maybe I'm not. Whatever. Alright, so... Huh. Oh yeah, that's the part where I got like really annoyed. I couldn't find where her hair lines were going, so I'm just like, ah, I'll just sort of make it up. This is after too the camera turned off, so this is right after that. Um, you know, editing gives you the power to make it like it never happened. If you guys notice too, I don't have my beanie, so that's one way to know. <laughs> All right, so kind of like making her hmm uh, creating a character like this I need to create a, my own character with like this kind of crazy hairstyle so like I know how to draw that type of hair later on uh, oh yeah it kind of looks like Rhea's hair actually but then it doesn't at the same time I hope we get a high school DXC season 3 anywho we're almost getting to the good part, which is the painting. Um, even with the power of, you know, editing and speed fast forwarding this, like, it still takes a while to get there. All right, so for those of you guys who are interested in the tools I'm using to draw, uh, I bought those pens at a at a store called Blick. And they're just pretty much like uh, they have different types of measurements on the pen. So like, if you want to draw eyes, you would use like you know. A lower number and for like you know thicker bold lines you would use a higher number I think you guys are familiar if you're in the anime community you guys are familiar with what that what type of pens those are and those uh, markers over there uh, the funny story with those so I was at anime expo and I bought them and I had no idea how to use them like I would paint with them but they, they came out really bad like the paint was terrible and I was kind of disappointed that uh you know I spent like I can't remember like 200 on them and I was like you know I spent a lot of money on these markers and it doesn't even look nice but I found out that they're like these special kind of markers that like you kind of need to buy like a water marker for them and what that is is that green color uh, marker that's in the background that you'll see me using a bit uh, 
That one pretty much, uh, it gives it that water, like watercolor look. Uh, and so I was pretty satisfied once I discovered how to use the markers, so, you know. It's like, uh, you know, it's like you give an awesome sword to a guy, but he can't use it. That's, that's what I felt like, I don't know. I don't know how else to explain it. But uh, those markers, are, like, you know, the while that I had them, it, they were like, I was about to just give them away or something, but I discovered how to use them and I was satisfied. And I think I'm gonna pick some up, pick some up more like on this upcoming Anime Expo. Now, uh, these are pretty hard to find. I couldn't find them on Amazon. I think they're called like Zik markers or something like that. I can't remember. Uh, they're not Copic markers. They're called Zik or something. I, I kind of have to double look at them. But I couldn't find them on Amazon, and randomly I just went to like a a mall in, where I live. And I saw them there, and they're sold individually for like four bucks or something. So, you know, they're pretty pricey, but they're actually pretty nice. So if you get the chance to pick some of those up, you should, and you should color with them because they actually do look nice. Um, yeah, so these markers are beast, and I am quite happy, and I am going to pick some up next Anime Expo. All right, so we are going to move soon to the markers. Now, excuse me here, I wasn't prepared. I, I forgot where I left my eraser and I was like, you know, digging all around it and I'm like, ah crap, I'll use the crappy eraser on my lead pencil. I used to have these really cool lead pencils, but since I moved rooms and we were like, you know, kind of fixing this room up for video editing and all that, uh, I kind of lost some of my art stuff in the process. So I kind of have to look around where my stuff went, like my erasers and some of my lead pencils. Those lead pencils were dope. Alright, so I'm kind of leaving some detail for her, her eyes so I can remember where the, you know, color shadows are going to be and everything. Uh, now it's not going to look exactly like the freaking anime. It's kind of like my own take on, you know, that scene. Uh, you know, that eraser was just growing thin. I'm like, ah oh, crap, I don't think I'm going to get to erase everything. But I managed to erase everything. So yeah, yay. So now I'm going to take a look at the colors. Um, I can't remember what I draw first. Oh, yeah, I draw her hair first. I mean, I paint for her hair first. And right now, you can see through my sketchbook. Uh, I guess you guys saw Urbe from Mysterious Girlfriend X. Alright, so what I do is that I mark these, um, I use the ink. I don't really use the marker. Uh, I was kind of testing out the marker right now. But I don't really use the marker in general. I use that, uh, water pen right there. So, once I figured out that the color was right, uh, I kind of set the marker aside and started using the water pen more. So as you guys can see, I'll let you guys see. Get it? See? Yeah, screw you. Oh yeah, yeah. I like these workers. Now, at the end, the, the paper is gonna look really like, uh, you know, not the greatest, but uh, I think uh, you, just, you can just flatten out the image on your notebook. If you leave it on your notebook and you just close the book, it, the image will flatten out. It's because the water makes the paper look all funny. Now, the, I forgot what sketchbook I'm using. It's like an all-resistant sketchbook. Like, you know, it's a it's a tough, manly sketchbook that can handle rough use and all that. So if you, if you guys manage to pick some of those up, that'd be cool. They I saw them at Walmart, too. So if you, you guys are near Walmart, you guys can pick them up. It's like a blue sketchbook that says XL, like extra large. I'm not even sure why, but yeah. Uh, I used to buy them at uh, my art store that I go to. But now they're available at Walmart, so I'm happy about that. Walmart is literally really close to me, and the art store I go to is like three miles away or something. It's pretty far. It's like the next city over. But uh, yeah, I really like Blick. And you guys, if you guys see a Blick, you guys should check it out. All right. So you know, we gotta make her look good for the MC. We got, we gotta make her look sexy. We got, we, 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 we gotta, we gotta make her look. Waifu material. I like how they throw those terms around too in the anime. They're just like waifu, waifu, waifu. Uh, you know, they're kind of making fun of us. So, yeah. Um, man, I love these markers. They're pretty cool. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Anyways, uh, so, so far out of the season, out of the spring season, my favorite anime has to be. Ah, it's tough. It's either between like uh, My Hero Academia, this one, the girl you never thought was online, and maybe Sakamoto-kun. You know, that 
an anime with the perfect kid. So yeah. I'm not sure if this is going to be up before or after the podcast, but uh, you guys should check out the podcast once it's done. Also, um, uh, we've been planning other things, like uh, maybe doing like a top five or something. You know, like for example, like top five beds in anime or, you know, something like that. I think it'll give our viewers a little bit more of, you know, variety. We're almost done with the hair here. Now... You know, I think she has different color hair. I can't remember her hair. I think it looks it looks darker in the, in real life and it doesn't. Or I'm not sure. Maybe they're the same color. I can't remember what was different about her online avatar. Maybe I think she looked more colorful. I'm not too sure. Maybe it might be the dress that shows all the freaking plot. Who knows? All right, all right, all right. So I'm kind of making her bottom hair more darker than the top hair. Just because I think it would look nicer. Uh, you know, oh, some, some nice stuff. Oh yeah. yeah, it looks nice. All right, so there you go. Now I think the water marker I'm using, the green one was like an extra five bucks. So yeah, oh and the skin tone colors were like another 12 bucks. They had a deal on them where like, see if you go to Anime Expo, you can always find great deals like last day they just want to sell everything and they're like oh okay well we'll just give you a deal like you know five or ten or something i can't remember but you usually find good deals you know her freaking uh she's really light she's her skin is really really light in the anime like uh i wasn't too sure if i even had the right colors to draw her skin but i kind of managed uh i think it's just the animation style like how vivid it looks really high contrast uh so i kind of had to make do with what i had uh at this point i was already more asleep than awake it was probably like one by now so like when i started it was like midnight and when i ended it was like 1 a.m or something so yeah you know these things don't take that you know they actually take a lot of a lot of time hmm Alright, so like I said before, I chose this character for the painting. Uh, if you guys want, I can just, you know, do relevant anime paintings. Or you guys can choose. Like I said, you guys can just leave a comment and tell me what anime character you guys would like me to paint. And I'll paint it. And for the speed drawings, I'll just keep on, you know, the pen challenges. I'll keep on choosing those and you guys can choose the paintings. This is just kind of like to show you guys, you know, how it could end up, you know. And I'm sorry guys because I know I could have done a better job. I just, I was really tired. It was like 1 a.m. like I said. So, I hope you guys participate, choose and everything. And yeah. Oh yeah. I'm just drawing her sweater. Oh yeah. And we're gonna get to the background soon too. I mean, might as well just draw a background for her. Uh, I wasn't gonna draw the background because I was really lazy. But I'm just like, you know what? I'll draw her background. Right after I color her neck. Hmm. <laughs> I like how you can see her eyes more. <laughs> just big eyes. Alright, so this is where I'm kind of just sketching out the background. I think they meet like in some grassy area. I can't even remember the show that much anymore. Uh, but yeah, I'm just kind of like, you know, quickly doing the grass in the background. It's not even grass, it's like bush. Bushes, yeah, there were bushes, I remember now. And I, I didn't feel like drawing the freaking city in the background, especially since the scene was like kind of blurry in the back. So I kind of just did a sky and might as well just call it a day. Uh, you know, we're almost done here. Oh yeah. Those are some cool green bushes. Ye. 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 Anyway, so if you guys need, live near L LA, uh, you know, um, I bought these obviously <laughs> near the freaking artist alley, uh, but not too close to the artist alley. They're kind of like in their own separate like place because I know Copic had their own section. So it's a little bit more towards the front, I think I remember. Um, they usually have like people just sitting down and drawing for fun. And you can test out their markers, which is a cool thing. Alright, so this is, we come to the end. This is it, guys. Alright, laters. And enjoy.